let's start in time going to start new chapter in uh, in geography climate listen very carefully in the last chapter we have uh, read about the landforms and the drainage of our country last two chapter we have landforms or drainage of the country ke bare mein study kiya these are the two of the three basic element that one learn about the natural environment of any area in this chapter you will learn about the third that is the atmospheric condition that prevail over our country atmospheric condition jo hamare pure desh ke upar hoti hai uske kya condition hai why do we wear the woolen in december and why we, uh, it is hot and uh, uncomfortable in the month of may and why it rains in june and july the answer to all these questions can be found out by studying about the climate of india in sare prashnon ko padhne ke liye hum log climate of india ka study karenge climate jo hai refer to the sum total of the weather condition and the variation over a large area of the long period of time more than 30 years climate ka jo uh, define kiya gaya hai kya diya hai ki a sum total of the weather condition and variation over a large area hai ye long period ke liye hota hai that, that means more than 30 years aur weather jo hai refer to the state of the atmosphere over an area at a point of time the element of the weather and climate are the same that is temperature atmospheric pressure wind humidity and precipitation you may have observed that the weather conditions fluctuate uh, very often even within a day but there is some common patterns over a few weeks or months that is day are cool or hot windy or calm cloudy or bright and wet and dry on the basis of the generalized month atmospheric conditions the year is divided into seasons such as winter summer and rainy season the world is divided into a number of climatic regions do you know that is what types of climate india has and why it is so we will learn about it is in the chapter okay now we will see here the climate of india is described as the monsoon type just like climate of india could described ke ki india monsoon type hai in uh, asia this type of climate is found mainly in the south and the south east despite all over unity in the general pattern there is a perceptible reasonable variation in the climatic condition within the country let us take two different important elements temperature and precipitation the exam uh, examine how they vary from place to place and season to season in summer the mercury occasionally touches 50 degrees centigrade in some part of the rajasthan deserts where it may be around 20 degrees centigrade in pahalgam in jammu and kashmir on a winter night temperature at dras in jammu and kashmir may be low as minus 45 degrees centigrade trivandrum on the other hand may have the temperature of 22 degree centigrade let us now look at the precipitation there are variation not only in the form of the types of precipitation but uh, also in its amount and the seasonal distribution while precipitation is mostly in the form of snowfall in the upper part of the himalaya it rains over the rest of the country the annual precipitation varies from over 1400 cm in meghalaya to less than 10 cm in ladakh and western rajasthan most parts of the country receive rainfall from june to september but some parts like the tamil nadu coast get a large portion to its during the october and november uh, it in general coastal areas experience less uh, contrast in temperature conditions seasonals contrast uh, more in the interior of the country there is a decrease in rainfall generally from east to west in the northern plains these variations have given rise to variety in lives of people in terms of the food they eat, they eat the clothes they wear and also the kind of houses they live in okay <laughs> finally relief to plays a major role in de- determining the climate of place high mountains act as a barrier or for cold or hot winds they may also cause precipitation if they are high enough and lie in the path of the rain bearing winds the leeward side of the mountains remains relatively dry next we will discuss here uh, climatic controls there are six major controls of the climatic conditions uh, climate of place they are latitude altitude pressure wind system distance from the sea continentally and uh, ocean currents and relief features due to the uh, curvature of the earth the amount of the solar energy received varies 
varies according to latitude as a result air temperature generally decreases from the equator towards the pole as once goes from the surface to the earth to higher altitude the atmospheric becomes less dense and temperature decreases the hills are therefore cooler during the summer that means the higher you go the cooler you feel jaise jaise hum upar jaate hain waise waise thand ki anubhuti hoti hai yani wahan par temperature decrease hota hai to air dense less ho jati hai प्रेशर एंड विंड सिस्टम ऑफ एरिया डिपेंड ऑन द लेटीट्यूड एंड एल्टीट्यूड ऑफ द प्लेस दस इट मे इन्फ्लुएंस द टेम्परेचर एंड पैटर्न द सी एग्जर्ट्स इन मॉडरेटिंग इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन क्लाइमेट एज अ डिस्टेंस फ्राम द सी इन्फ्लुएंस इट्स मॉडरेटिंग इन्फ्लुएंस डिक्रीज एंड द पीपल एक्सपीरियंस एक्सट्रीम वेदर कंडीशन दिस कंडीशन इज नॉन एज कंटिटी दैट इज वेरी हॉट ड्यूरिंग द समर एंड वेरी कोल्ड ड्यूरिंग विंटर Ocean currents along with the onshore winds affect the climate of the coastal areas. For example, for example, any coastal areas with a warm of cold currents flowing past it will be warmed or cooled if the winds are onshore. Next, we'll see final relief to place a measure determining climate of place. Factors affecting India's climate latitude. The Tropic of Cancer passes through the middle of the country from the run of Kutch in the west of Mizoram in its east. Almost half of the country lying south of the Tropic of Cancer belonging to the tropical area. All the remaining areas north of the tropic lies in the subtropics. Therefore, India's climate has characteristic of tropical as well as subtropical climates. Next, altitude. India has the mountains to the north which have an average height of about 6000 meters india also has this vast coastal areas where the maximum elevation is about 30 meter the himalayas prevent the cold winds from the central asia from entering the subcontinent it is because this mountains that this subcontinent experience comparatively milder winters as compared to central asia next time we will discuss special winds